Hello everybody, I'm Pyrek and today I'm sharing my Bloodright Hammer build for Title Update 3. Be warned, to make this build you'll either need to be Anomaly Rank 181 or augment in the Bloodright skill itself. I'll leave an augmentless and non 181 version in the description. So without further delay, to make this build you'll need the Abominable Avalanche. We're using this hammer because it has outrageously high attack, good slots and decent sharpness for a hammer. As for the armor pieces, you'll need yourself the Risen Kaiser Horns, Risen Kaiser Mail, Flaming Espinas Grip, Risen Kaiser Coil and the Archfiend Armor Skeros with a talisman that has attack boost level 3, with a 2 and a 1 slot. As with most builds, the only mandatory augment is bloodlust on an armor piece. Real quickly, here are the decorations you will need to make this build. Alright, onto some skills. This build will give you level 7 attack boost for 10 raw attack and 10% increase to raw attack. Critical eye level 7 for 40% increased affinity. Critical boost to up our critical hit damage by up to 40% based on affinity. Weakness exploit at level 3 for 50% additional affinity when hitting a monster's weak point. Powder mantle at level 3 to give us a huge explosion of damage that activates after just 13 hits and if you let it get to its blue state will deal a large chunk of damage. Master's Touch at level 2 to grant a 40% chance to not consume any sharpness when we critically hit. Focus at level 2 as it increases the rate we charge the hammer by 10%. This creates additional openings as well as a stronger optimal combo on monster knockdowns. Blood Ride at level 2 to make it so that we heal back based on 10% of our damage done when we strike a broken monster part. Resentment at level 1 for 5 additional raw attack when we have health missing. Evade extender at level 1 for a bit of comfort making our rolls much much better. Dereliction at level 1 to grant 25 raw attack and granting 5% extra stunning power once you get to 3 curios with the blue swap scroll active. Bloodlust at level 1 to grant 20% increased affinity when we overcome the affliction or if you fail to overcome it granting 10 raw attack instead. And finally, Intrepid Heart at level 1. Upon building up this meter, the next hit you take won't stagger you and will deal half damage. This is particularly useful to keep Powder Mantle from being broken too early and we can create monster openings that were previously unpunishable. Okay, on to the augments. As mentioned earlier on, the only mandatory augment is that you get Bloodlust on an armor piece. Aside from that, aiming for one level of burst and the rest into resentment will net you a lot of consistent raw damage. Although I would highly recommend trying to get two additional one slots on your pieces instead as getting access to defiance level 3 will open up so many damage opportunities from not getting affected by roars and wind tremors. For the weapon, the one mandatory augment is that you get one affinity. This puts the weapon at 100% affinity under all optimal circumstances. From there, you should get two attack augments and one element to finish up its slots. This has been my recreated Blood Ride Hammer for Title Update 3. I highly recommend checking this build out as it's still one of the best ways to play a hammer build in my opinion but as always thank you for watching and i hope to see you in the next one